What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report and in this video we are going to be doing a post game recap of the Texas Rangers 6-2 loss versus the Seattle Mariners yesterday. Um, so obviously the game wasn't what we uh liked it to be but if this is your first time on the channel make sure to subscribe right now become your number one source for all things texas rangers related on youtube but also uh, make sure to join the texas rangers discord that link will be in the description down below so another bad loss for the texas rangers john gray got the start versus robbie ray i said this in the uh, series preview that robbie ray was going to be a tough matchup he obviously won the american league cy young award with the toronto blue jays last year and he gave us a run for our money only lined up two runs the only rbis came from marcus simeon and marcus simeon did look a little better um yesterday um uh, he had a double uh he also had a sack fly so he picked up two rbis on the night also eli white did look pretty good um obviously he only got his at bats versus robbie ray um because of the platoon situation but he got on base twice and he was the only run scored obviously being driven in by marcus simeon i do think he bought himself more time in the major leagues with that because he is a fringe player and if he had any more bad playing time, probably would have been sent down or designated for assignment. But the biggest thing, I believe, was John Gray getting back out on the bump. Didn't look the best, but after the first two innings, he settled down and he was able to save our bullpen. He was able to go five innings and he looked pretty solid um, whenever he was able to get settled down from the third inning all the way to the fifth. He looked pretty good definitely looked like our best starter in the rotation but I think it was pretty good that he was able to go five innings because we only had three bullpen pitchers have to pitch after that that was Brett Martin uh, Spencer Patton and Matt Moore and Brett Martin it seems like he's always pitching every single game it seems like Chris Woodward has a lot of faith in Brett Martin and it seems like he is just gonna be that guy that we see a bunch of times like to get out of jams um maybe the first guy after the starter it seems like we're gonna see him a bunch it doesn't matter the situation if it's lefty versus lefty or righty versus lefty i think we're gonna see him a lot this year also matt moore looked pretty good spencer Patton let up uh two runs in relief and then matt moore came to back him up he pitched um one in the third innings and he didn't let any runs so Obviously, the rosters will shrink. Uh, Matt Moore doesn't have any options. We'll probably see Colby Aller get sent to AAA. So that means we'll be losing a long reliever. But maybe if Matt Moore could step up and be that long reliever, that could be good for us. Um, obviously, Marcus Simeon looked better. I think that is crucial for the team moving forward because obviously the team, the offensive numbers look good, but I think those are inflated because of the Toronto series and the one game where we scored 10 runs versus the Angels. Um, I think Marcus Simeon getting going could really help rejuvenate this offense. But I think this shows that the AL West is going to be tough. Um, we just got, lost a series to the Angels. Um, we just lost a game versus the Mariners, the Mariners, the Angels. And we all know that the Astros are going to be tough. Um, hopefully, we can turn this series around. We... We're going to be facing Oakland pretty soon. We're going to see what they're all about. Um, that just about wraps up the recap. Um, going into today's game, it is going to be Dane Dunning versus Logan Gilbert. So a righty-righty matchup. Brad Miller should be starting um, because the, the platoon situation. So that means Willie Calhoun should be starting. Um, Cole Calhoun should be starting. All those guys that are lefties will be starting and the righties will be out of the lineup. So Nick Solak, Charlie Culberson, and the likes will be out of the lineup. We do have a good track record versus Logan Gilbert, although it is not a big sample size. Hopefully, we can cash in. Dan Dunning has been a little shaky to start the season. Um, hopefully, we can turn things around tonight. Um, but if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel because I'm your number one source for all things Rangers on YouTube. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.